Today, we're gonna go through what an asthma workout plan could look like. First, we're gonna talk about what I do as an ultra marathon runner and endurance athlete with asthma. And then we're gonna go through what this could look like for you. Now remember, I am not a healthcare professional. There's a disclaimer on screen and in the description below this video. So before you go and integrate any of this into your life, remember to talk to your healthcare professional. I have experienced asthma since birth and I've been an athlete almost as long. I grew up playing a ton of soccer year round. I was a very, very strong defender but I could also score goals, which is really cool. I also really liked playing midfielder, even though that meant that I was running the most on the field. Well, I wasn't always able to do that. And early on in my life, I was told by multiple people, healthcare professionals, different teachers, other adults in my life, that I wouldn't be able to ever run a marathon, that I wouldn't be able to play soccer, that I wouldn't definitely not be able to play an entire soccer game, but I still was able to do it. And a big part of that is because I consistently ramped up my workout plan over the years. Now, before I break it down, what I do on a weekly basis, I have a free gift for you. It is my healthy living guide, where I go through the three pillars of healthy living that I live by every single day. These three pillars not only helped me lose 30 plus pounds in 90 days, but it has helped me keep the weight off and perform at an extremely high level as an ultra endurance athlete. Grab my free guide, it's gonna take you less than three minutes to read and start integrating into your life today. Okay, so what do I do? Well, cardio is probably the most important thing that I have done over the years as an athlete with asthma. Kind of counterintuitive, right? Asthma is all about your lungs preventing you from doing cardio. And I remember so many times early on where I'd be at soccer practice and I'd be coughing, I'd be wheezing. <clears throat> you still hear it sometimes when I'm presenting, like I have a, problem getting deep breaths but my cardio is extremely good nowadays and i run ultra marathons i'm running 100k this year 100k race that's 62.2 miles cardio is the bedrock of an asthma workout plan and cardio can look different ways for me it looks like this i do three to five cardio workouts a week. For me, cardio is running. I run three to five times a week. Now when I'm training for an event, which I will start training for my 100K in the next couple of months, I'm looking at five to six days of cardio a week. I always take a rest day. I'm gonna talk about that here. But three to five days a week I'm running. And I'm running somewhere between three to 15 miles a day when I'm doing that. Sometimes I'm even running a marathon or a 50K, that's 31 miles. But cardio is so important. Now, how did this look at first for me? And how can this look for you? Maybe you've never been able to run. Maybe you've always wanted to play soccer or basketball and you never have because you're like, ah, I don't know if I can, I don't know if my lungs are strong enough. Well, cardio can start very simply. I recommend two to three times a week, okay? And it can just be a walk or a walk run. I talk about that on this channel. You don't have to do three to five times a week. You just gotta start somewhere, even if you started by walking one mile every single week, that'd be awesome. Maybe you just wanna start walking around the block. Start getting your heart rate going, start working your lungs. This is where you can start. 
two or three times a week, go take a walk. The next thing that I like to do is HIIT training. High intensity interval training, okay? Now I specifically, back in 2012, 2013, discovered something called Yoga Sculpt. And Yoga Sculpt changed my life. I started doing yoga back in like 2010, 2011, and loved it, still do to this day. But a couple years later when I discovered Yoga Sculpt, completely changed my adult fitness, okay? In high school, I played a ton of soccer. I got injured. I did not play in college. I played Ultimate Frisbee in college, but I didn't have a consistent workout routine or workout plan in college. Yoga Sculpt changed all that for me. Yoga Sculpt is high intensity interval training where you get your heart rate elevated for you know, 20 to 30 minutes and yoga where you learn how to breathe with movement. Yoga Sculpt, in my opinion, is the perfect workout for someone with asthma. I see plenty of people in Yoga Sculpt classes with inhalers. They bring the inhaler with them. I have my inhaler at the studio. It's just outside in my locker. But I see people have inhalers in there with them all the time. I actually don't see people use them very much, but they have them there because you always should. You should always have it present. Mine's in the building, it's not in the studio. I'm very used to Yoga Sculpt at this point now though. I do this somewhere around the same, three to five times a week. And it's just a game changer. This has allowed me to run marathons. Without this, I don't know if I'd be able to run marathons. Because it's taught me how to control my breath. How to, even when my brain is telling me, hey, you have asthma, bro. Can't you feel the struggle? This has trained me to know it's gonna be okay. It's made my lungs stronger. So for you, I do recommend integrating some hit. Now talk to your medical professional about this. Maybe don't do it for 20 to 30 minutes. Maybe do it for five minutes. Get that elevated heart rate. Start little, okay? And this could look one to two times a week. And like I said, this could just be five to 10 minutes. Take it easy, start slow. If you walk and then do hit one to two days a week, five minutes, 10 minutes, you got a really good start. Now, speaking of yoga, there's the next part of the workout plan here. Yoga slash stretching. The important thing here is breath. When you have asthma, breath can be very difficult. That's why yoga and stretching are so important, okay? Because you got breath and Recovery. This allows you to bring your heart rate down, bring your breathing down at the end of a workout. It also allows you on the days you're not working out to focus on breath, focus on recovery. Okay, I do this two times a week. Now, when I'm doing yoga sculpt, and if I do yoga sculpt five times a week, there's yoga involved, so there's more than just two times a week. But stretching, yoga, I do it at least two times a week. I try and stretch every single day. But this is the minimum that I do, okay? And for you, it should be very similar. Yoga, stretching. Now I'm working on my own yoga courses at this point. And I will be adding yoga videos on YouTube as well. Depending on when you're watching this, they may already exist. So go check them out. And I'll take you through some of my favorite yoga postures. My favorite yoga sequence of all time is the simple sun A. So that's where I would start. Either find a sun A that I've recorded 
or just YouTube it and find your favorite yoga teacher. Just do a sun A. And really just look at doing this one to two times a week. Or maybe you wanna do it more. Maybe you wanna do it daily, whatever. But a sun A is really only gonna take you like three minutes to do, maybe five minutes. Really good for you. Now the last thing here is rest. Rest. This is probably the most important part. You gotta rest. For me, I challenge myself to take one full day off a week. And this is what it should look like for you as well. This should be your minimum, one full day, okay? Now, if you find yourself addicted to this type of working out like me, it gets a lot harder to take one full day off. But when I'm training for a 50 mile or 100K, when I train for a 100 mile ultra marathon in the future, the one full day off is the key to success. So when I'm actually training, I have to take one full day off, and so should you. Maybe you take three or four full days off. Now all of this, you want to increase it slowly. So start slow. And then maybe what I do will serve you someday. Maybe this is crazy. Maybe you have no desire to do this. That's fine. This is a great starting point. Remember, check with your medical professional for integrating any of this. Grab that free guide so you can integrate the three pillars of healthy living in your life today. I'll see you in the next video.